Blood cancer patient Alan Morris from Hanbury in Worcestershire had a birthday to remember as the baggy fan of over 60 years was given the opportunity to meet England and West Bromwich Albion goalkeeper Ben Foster at the club's training ground. Alan has recently been told he's in remission from acute myeloid leukaemia after Cure Leukaemia's funding of specialist research nurse Donna Walsh allowed Alan the opportunity to receive a world-first clinical trial not currently available through the NHS. He was being treated for leukaemia last summer while Ben was riding London to Paris to raise funds to help patients just like Alan. You know, Alan's a, a fantastic guy. Like I said, he was, he was actually battling the, the disease while we were on our ride last year. Um, and to see him today in, in pretty much full remission is it's incredible. You know, that's a, it speaks volumes for the work that the charity does. And um, like you say, if, if we can all kind of join in and do a little bit and, you know, contribute towards this, people like Alan, it's, it's gonna, you're going to see more people like him. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Being a fan for 60 odd years, so um, to come this close to actually some professional footballers was, was really good. Couldn't have dreamt for a better birthday present, really. And Ben is such a great guy, isn't he? I mean, he's so, so professional. Ben raised £10,000 for Q Leukemia as he rode the 500 kilometre ride from Greenwich to Paris, alongside over 230 fellow fundraisers, one of which was the charity's co-founder, Professor Charlie Craddock. Charlie's absolutely amazing. What a guy. Um, I think everybody that meets him just, in, uh, first of all, you meet him and you think, wow, he's a lovely guy. You know, that's why I, at first I met him and I didn't even know who he was and nobody had introduced us and we were just chatting kind of thing. And I just thought, what a lovely guy he is. And then somebody came along and said, that's the guy, that's the main guy, you know, that's, that's the head honcho. Everybody did enjoy it so much. I, I, I can't, I, I won't lie to you, everybody really did enjoy it. You know, not only the riding, not the, the camaraderie of it all, the achievement, the sense of achievement. Um, every night you'd be in the bar for a few drinks and, you know, talking about the ride, talking about, you know, just meeting other people that you'll never ever get a chance to meet and talk to in your life kind of thing. Um, but like you say, the, the end goal is, is the fact that it's all for charity. The, the good work that they do is it's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's pioneering stuff really and, and that's what it's all about. He didn't want any praise or any thanks for what he did and I guess that's the nature of the guy. They told me last week that I was in remission but the drugs that I'm on, it, doesn't, it, it can never guarantee full remission so I have to have a transplant and I met with a consultant last night and uh, I was told that, that that transplant will go ahead in four to six weeks. Alan brought a West Brom shirt for Ben to sign, but one signature wasn't enough for the 32-year-old goalkeeper, who insisted he would make sure the whole baggy squad signs the shirt for him. I mean, his signature would have been uh, sufficient for me, but the fact that he's going to get everybody to sign it is just awesome. Yeah, really awesome.